everybody welcome back to another vlog it's been a super busy weekend the day I'm actually filming this is a Sunday and it's just been so nice we had the loveliest morning taking a walk we went to our favorite coffee shop we walked through a bunch of different neighborhoods and came home to like you know use the bathroom get ourselves together and we're gonna head to the Melrose trading post which is like a fun flea market sort of thing that's every Sunday here in LA and um, they always just have like really good stuff so we're always on the hunt for more walls stuff and like home decor and sometimes you can find really good gems we also want to get more plants for the back patio and just the house in general we had to get rid of some of our plants or like give our plants to some of our friends before we moved here and we're just in need of more we just want more so I'm wearing my cute little old navy dress this morning it's so fun this thing is so oh my little prism is going so you know don't mind that but this little thing is so bright like look how bright it's making the walls this is crazy but it it worked really well. We just walked like two, three miles and it was great. I'm wearing my hokas. Layla, are you upset that no one's paying attention to you? I'm sorry. Anywho, I'm wearing this exercise dress from Old Navy. So comfortable. The shorts were great. Yeah, my hokas, I already said that. Got my hair up. Just trying to keep it off of the back of my neck. It's extremely hot. And then my sunglasses are from Key, but I got them on ThreadUp. So that's the fit for today. I'm going to put a little bit more deodorant on because it's kind of warm outside. <laughs> but before I go, I was like, oh, I got an Old Navy order in. Clearly, I'm in my Old Navy era because I'm wearing a dress from them today. This dress is so bright. <laughs> Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it worked. And then I ordered some like loungewear type of stuff. I placed an order on Old Navy and an order on airy i don't think the airy one is going to be here in time for this vlog but we'll try some of it i'm not going to try it on because i'm sweating but i'll just show you so the first piece is this like cute tank top i ordered it in an extra large but now i'm wondering if i should have sized down to a large we'll see it is like a pretty warm material so this will be good for like fall and winter but here's what it looks like it's like a blue kind of heather color it's like a high neck tank and then to go with it there are these pants these are like a high-waisted flare pant but they have like a huge slit on the ankles what is this what are you do you ever just order things and like black out and don't remember what you ordered because same oh this is fun this is like a onesie oh i'm so excited about this this is like a literal throw it on and go onesie moment it's like a big parachute wide leg jumpsuit and i just thought this would be so comfy and actually this material is exactly what i wanted like super super thin very breathable i just need more stuff to lounge around the house in that isn't pajamas that's kind of like the issue i run into so this will be great and then the last set is this sort of like kind of mustardy brown color it's like i think a lettuce hem which i'm a sucker for so we have a pair of pants i think they're cropped yeah they're like a cropped wide leg pant i'm worried that these might be a little too big we'll see if they are we can exchange them but so cute i mean a little see-through for sure but like i'm mostly just gonna be wearing these at the house and then the matching tank top Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, I think this is gonna be too big. So I might need to make some exchanges, but on, I don't know. Also, it might just be kind of like loose and flowy. So love that. That's my old Navy haul. I'm going to like put some stuff in my little um, like fanny pack bag, get that ready to go, get some water, maybe a liquid IV because it is pretty hot outside. And then we're gonna go to the flea market and see what we find. I'm gonna do like a super quick like four minute makeup routine because we are gonna be out and about probably a bit today and i already have sunscreen on but i am gonna just do like a little bit of tinted moisturizer i talked about this it's the brand is called say i think and it's called the slip tint and it also has spf 35 in it it has like virtually no coverage it's not the best but if that's what you're on the market for it's great and i'm just trying to use it up because i bought it but also because i just want something light on my face today because it is very toasty outside i'm fine wearing no makeup the only issue that i run into is just my like cluster of whatever that is rosacea on my cheek so sometimes just a little bit of extra coverage makes me feel better a lot of people have asked too about like my laser journey 
Hello. And like if I'm going to continue doing laser treatments, I am. I just need to find a dermatologist out here. I loved my dermatologist in Arizona so much. All right, that's good. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer. Do it under the eyes. And then I'll do like this little patch. Clearly I'm very precise with my technique. Just that little bit of extra coverage like really does a lot for me. So we're gonna set that just super lightly, like a super light layer of powder. Then we'll throw a little bronzer on. I've been using this bronzer for like a year and it's still, it's still going strong. It's crazy. It's like I've barely made a dent in it, but this is the Fenty Beauty Private Island bronzer. So we'll just do a little bit of bronze. Okay, cute. And then I'll do my brows and some mascara and some lip tint and that's it. Then I will just set that with this brow gel. This is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. Just gonna curl my lashes real quick. And then the mascara that I'm using right now is the Maybelline Sky High. I just like, I love drugstore mascara, but I did buy a sample size of this Ilia mascara. Here it is. It's the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. I had seen a bunch of people on TikTok talk about this and like it does make your lashes look good, but oh my God, it smears. Like it smears so bad. Probably worse than like any mascara I've ever used. And I wore it to the pool granted, but like I didn't get in the water. I wore this to the pool when I went to Alexa's pool, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And like, I don't know, it was smeared like, I had like panda eyes. So I'll try it again, because it is a pretty good mascara, but oh my God. If anyone has any tips for us oily gals. Oh, perfect. I'll just try it on the top this time, maybe? Oh. Okay, I need to fix what's going on underneath, but I gotta wait for it to dry first. And then I'm just gonna use my Benetint by Benefit, like a little lip stain action. I have the Fenty Beauty one and I like it too, but I kind of like this one better. It's very like watery though, so you have to be careful. And there you have it. Boom, done. I actually have to post some like sponsored content, so I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna hit up the flea market. market we are a little bit overheated but it's fine and we're gonna like put this stuff away so i thought i would show you and yes this laundry that you're seeing um is a week old it will literally just be there for the rest of time um we got a few art prints it was actually the first place that we walked up to when we walked in and we've been looking for more prints for the walls so this one is actually for our friends we got this for our friends josh and noel um, and it has a bunch of different like tiki type of drinks and they're very much into like that kind of thing and I think it kind of goes with the decor in their house so hopefully they like it. And then we got a couple things for the kitchen in here. We got this one, kind of vintagey looking. It says summer cocktails. It has been different cocktails. We got these two which are so cute. Look at these. Oh. Oh. Um, we'll tell you why our arms are a little tired in a second, but we got these two. It's an Aperol Spritz and a Negroni. Not gonna lie, I don't love Negronis, but it is like a very cute ensemble. And then we got this one to commemorate our trip to Japan that we took a few years ago. And it was just cute. So those are the prints. And then I got this shirt. It's like a little crocheted, hand crocheted tank top. Oh my God. I can't hold on to anything. My arms are shaking so bad. So Look how cute that is with like some wide leg jeans. You put Adorable. Like on, like, you I probably would just wear like a bandeau mm -hmm. under it. Yeah. Did you get the cucumber salad before? Yes. Is it good? Yeah, it's cucumber and onion. And then I also got from Issa Embroidery this cute little like loom, I think is what it's called, right? Oh, loom. Loom is the machine that makes oh. it. It's a hoop, uh, embroidery hoop. Oh, sure. But it has a bunch of plants on it and I thought it would either be really cute on the wall in like the bathroom, my office, the living room. My arms are so dead because we ended up getting three 
gigantic plant and they were each like $40 which is crazy because in Arizona each one of these plants would be at least $100 if not like $150 so the fact that we got each of them for like $40, $45 something like that really good we got three new babies we would have gotten more but we simply couldn't carry them we should have brought our wagon yeah we i mean we didn't i didn't think we were gonna come here and get like fucking no i just monster plant i didn't either when you put a plant in front of us we're probably gonna buy it this is i think some kind of ficus, it's a ficus yeah. yeah so here is our new ficus to go with another ficus that we have in the living oh, room it's already um yeah state yeah Good job. Good job. These people are the best. I wish I knew the name of this plant stand that's always at the trading post, but they're always the best and they always have the best prices. And then we also got another bird of paradise. I want to say that we even vlogged when we got our first one like Birdie three years ago. Yeah, she had, we named her Birdie, but she got some kind of disease in Arizona. And so we had to, unfortunately, she died. It was really, really sad. We don't often have plants that just straight up die, but you know, that was, well, a, that was a big loss. Yeah, we had her for what, almost three Almost years. three years, yeah. So it's a new chapter. We're, we've got a new place, so we got a new Birdie. And she's big. Yeah, she's a big is, girl. This is big Birdie. Yeah, this is big bird. <laughs> what a stunning queen. Oh yeah. This is Big Birdie. Yeah, Big Birdie is home. Welcome home, girlfriend. And she already has a little like offshoot, so I think that's a good sign. She's, she's doing healthy. well. She's thriving. And oh, then, she's heavy. oh she's god, heavy our freaking arms are dead. That's the thing is, um, we we didn't think about it. We were on like the total opposite, probably like three quarters of a mile. <laughs> from where we parked and we had to walk with these plants and both of our arms, like I can't even hold up my phone right now. So anyway. I don't know what plant this is. I don't know what this I'm third one is. Up. I'm gonna look smart. Oh, okay. Someone will tell us. We don't have to know everything. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Just Scorpio things. Yeah, someone's gonna have to tell us. Okay, someone can tell us what this plant is called. So here she yeah. is. She's beauty, she's grace. So we'll have to play fake. around. But yeah, we need to figure out what it is because then we need to figure out how much to water it and like where to put it and stuff. But I'm sure a lot of you in the comments will let me know. So yeah, that's our farmer's market haul. It will probably come as no surprise that we ordered Tsum Tsum for lunch. That seems to be like our every Sunday thing. I showed it in the last vlog that we were, or maybe it was a Saturday in that vlog, but we ordered it like every single weekend now. So that's on the way or they're making it now. And we're just gonna try to like find new spots for these plants and try to cool off a little bit because we are very, overheated all right i'm i mean we might be predictable here but i have my same order except this time i got cabbage and cucumber salad fried eggplant falafel turmeric rice and yeah israeli couscous and then drew got israeli's the pickles cucumber salad cucumber salad fried eggplant and then just rice mm -hmm. i don't really care yeah and then tahini for me and garlic pita bread base. garlic base and yes we are predictable okay we are watching Escape to the Country. It's just, we're, we are who we are. Okay, ignore the little bit of a mess that's happening in here, but I just took a shower and put on this little like onesie thing and it is so comfortable. Would I wear it like out and about? No, probably not. But like wearing around the house? so comfortable it's so lightweight i'm literally gonna go crawl in bed and take a nap and i'm gonna live my coziest life i swear to god i'm literally about to go buy all the rest of the colors in this i love it <laughs> old navy typically runs pretty large but this i got in an extra large and it's the perfect size for me um the other items that i ordered though i am gonna have to size down in but oh my gosh so cute obsessed just took layla out for her afternoon walk drew's in the shower right now and we are going to lay in bed probably put something on TV in our room and just take a nice Sunday nap. I'm so excited. I'm also happy to announce that I have finally gotten into this book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It took me like 26 chapters. I'm on page 165. It took me almost like 100 pages to really get into it, but now I'm into it and um, I'm what, like a third of the way done? And I'm definitely gonna sit down and enjoy this because I'm quite loving it. I'm very much getting into it and like living in LA and kind of, even though this is fictional, you know, reading about sort of old Hollywood stuff is pretty interesting. But I will say, um, I cannot wait to go through all the hard copy or, you know, the physical books that I have that I wanna read because I'm missing my Kindle so much. 
I can't believe how much of a Kindle girly I have become. I literally love that thing. Two hours later. You can probably hear Drew's vacuuming in the background, but um, we definitely just took a two and a half hour nap. It's just kind of what happens on Sundays. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, we put our new plant right here, which I think looks so, so cute. We definitely need to get like, I don't know, something else for the wall. I don't know if I'm feeling this in here. We might need to switch it around. And actually, we're going to move this rug, I think maybe into the living room. We're just going to see about that because um, we need to have a different rug. We need to have a washable rug in the living room. Oh my God, look how cute Moo looks, by the way. Oh. Layla sleeps in the living room most of the time now. She has like no interest in sleeping in this room and she is stinking up that rug in the living room so bad and we bought the like scented powder stuff to put on it but we just need to get that out of the living room and honestly we love the idea of having a big rug in here so we might just like switch this out we also have another one of these in like a black or a brown sorry what color a blue color so we might try to switch that out or something so we're gonna do that here in a little bit but in the meantime we're cleaning starting our laundry and ordering groceries i gotta go it's loud Got our laundry going in here. And I thought before I end this vlog that I would show you where we ended up putting the plants. So here we have the ficus tree in this corner over here. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with that. That's actually hand carved by Drew's uncle, great uncle, I think. Um, so we're trying to figure out like where to put it. Um, but in the meantime, the tree is going here, so cute. And I mean, it looks kind of the same as it did before, but I just think it looks a little bit better. And then we moved to the fake tree, I'll show you that. And then we did move a few things around in here. This trunk was Drew's grandfather's, or great-grandfather's? Great-grandfather. Yes, we just kind of like moved it around. We ended up getting rid of our Roomba in here because it's just too loud with like neighbors. And also it's like not working that well. So we just stored it for now, but we'll have to like style this up a little bit. We might hang something right here. And then this is all the same. This is all the same. We are going to switch out these rugs, but just not tonight. Layla's asleep over here. We put the bird of paradise in this little corner. This is like our sort of Wi-Fi overflow book storage and dog toy corner. So that's where that's gonna go. We actually, I think, have decided that we're gonna move this gallery wall to this wall because we can spread it out more, we can take up more space, and then we'll just find like a smaller piece for this wall. So there's that. And I think I already showed, yeah, I did. I already showed the tree in this room and then we moved the fake tree into the bathroom. And I just think it looks so cute right here. Like it definitely just brings some needed color to the space. I might try to find some kind of like platform to put it on so it's a little bit taller because it's kind of just like tucked behind the tub. But yeah, that's the updates. It's somehow already like what, freaking almost 6 p.m. or something like that. We just ordered our groceries. So those are gonna be delivered soon. We're actually waiting on our Postmates to be delivered. We ordered Postmates twice today, so. But the reason we ordered groceries is so we don't have to do that. We're gonna cook dinner every single night this week. But yeah, thank you for being here and for hanging out with me on a day in my life, on a nice, I was gonna say nice chill Sunday, but it was like a mixture of both. It was like chill and then also we did stuff. Thank you for being here, sending you a lot of love and we'll see you in the next vlog, bye.